been telling everybody the same thing. It's, it's not the, uh, the physical that bothers me so much, you know. Trust me, I've had worse done to me. I am offended by Brock Lesnar. I'm offended by what he said, that he had to bring legitimacy back to the WWE. You know, it's funny. The day before he came back here, I was standing in a ring in front of 78,000 people at the most watched WrestleMania in history. Going toe to toe with The Undertaker. And the whole time, all I could think to myself is, geez, I wish somebody could come along and make this legitimate. <laughs> your arrogance and your stupidity offend me, Brock Lesnar. They offend The Undertaker. It offends Shawn Michaels. It offends John Cena. It offends Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, Bob Backlund, Sam Martino. Every single person that's ever walked down that aisle to step into this ring and do what we do, it offends. It offends me as a fan because that's how I started out as a kid. I, am, I have been, am now, and always will be part of this WWE universe. And as a member of that universe, Brock Lesnar offends me. But I'm also big enough to admit that I was just slightly embarrassed. Not because a 300 pound ass kicker had to attack me from behind. No, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed because I bought into Brock Lesnar's crap. His hype, the same crap and hype I bought into in 2002 when I met this incredibly gifted, talented, gigantic, simpleton farm boy from Minneapolis with all the God-given ability in the world and I looked at that kid and I thought, you're gonna be the next big thing. And I was right. Brock Lesnar took that God-given ability, that 300-pound lightning-fast frame, and shot right to the top of the WWE where we knew we all would be. But when he got there, and he got challenged for the first time, when he actually had somebody step up to him and he had to dig down inside himself to find that little bit of extra, to actually fight, Brock Lesnar quit. And then he decided to come back here to the WWE because he looked at John Cena and he thought, that's my boy right there. The ground is fertile. I can take him. And he stepped into the ring with John Cena and he gave him every bit of that 300 pound ass kicker that John could handle except John like the shirt says, never quits. And John did what Brock's never done. He reached deep inside himself and he found that little bit of extra and he fought and he beat Brock Lesnar. And then Lesnar came out here the next night making ridiculous contractual demands touting his hype, touting his crap still, and he was told no. And when he was told no, and it wasn't easy anymore, Brock Lesnar did what Brock Lesnar always does. Brock Lesnar quit. The fact is, Lesnar... <laughs> You know what? I get it. I absolutely understand. 
It's the big spin. It's damage control. It's what every promoter has said over the years when they lose their biggest star. Because Triple H, you lost your biggest star. And now you think you're a businessman? Well, as a businessman, you truly screwed up because this is what they call an open and shut case. My client, Brock Lesnar, entered into an oral and binding agreement with your executive vice president, John Laurinaitis, in front of millions of witnesses on live television. And what did you do, Triple H? You arrogantly and defiantly and illegally ripped that contract up. You don't get the seriousness of this situation, but you do get this. Consider yourself served. See, that Triple H is a lawsuit because Brock Lesnar is suing you for the millions of dollars that you owe him. Now, I speak to Brock all the time, and on a professional basis, he wants you to know that he's very disappointed in the way things have turned out. But on a personal basis, Brock Lesnar expected so much more from you. I mean, Brock Lesnar expected a fight. And what did he get? He got a sniveling, conniving, corporate sycophant that has not lived up to the hype that has surrounded him for all these years. I'm glad Brock Lesnar broke your left arm because it's with the right one that you're gonna write that multi-million dollar check out to Brock Lesnar. That thing on your arm right there. Whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. Don't do it. You tell Brock Lesnar, he's gonna get everything he deserves. Wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the news is this. Brock Lesnar is suing WWE. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 wait. Mr. Businessman, you just screwed up again because now, you don't just have one lawsuit coming your way for breach of contract. You put your hands on me? That's called assault and battery. That's called lawsuit number two and triple H. I will see you in court.